Hey, this is Danny from Scare Talk. Uh, Before we get into all the horror greatness, I got to let you know about Anchor. Anchor is the host site that we use to record our podcast. Um, Anchor will upload your podcast to Apple and Spotify and many other listening platforms. Anchor is completely free. And you can download the app or go to the website, anchor.fm. And you can record straight on there. There's also some cool editing tools that you can use. Um, Did I mention that it's free? Yeah, so if you want to make a podcast, Anchor is the way to go. Um, Yeah, go check it out. Now, for the spooky stuff. Welcome to Scare Talk, a horror movie podcast. For horror fans, this podcast will cover horror movie reviews, ratings, and rankings. Now for your hosts, Danny and Joel. <laughs> All right, this is Scare Talk. I am Danny. I'm sitting here with Joel. Hey guys, what's up? And today, we want to play a game. (laughs) Yes, we do. (laughs) (laughs) With the uh, ninth installment in the Saw universe. Spiral. (laughs) Spiral is the name of it. The Book of Saw. Apparently there's a book. From the Book of Saw. From the Book of Saw, yes. (laughs) (laughs) Yes, there's a book. (laughs) Uh, so we decided to start our uh, review series on the Saw franchise. Yes. And we are going to start at the beginning here with Saw. Saw. So, Joel, what do we have in this one? Who's who's a part of it? So this one stars Carrie Elwes. Um, he was in The Princess Bride, Robin Hood, Men in Tights. <laughs> <laughs> Classic. And Liar Liar. <laughs> And also stars Le- Leigh Whannell. He was in the Insidious movies, like all four or five of those movies. Death Sentence and The Bye Bye Man. Oh, The Bye Bye <laughs> Man. Adios. Yes. And also Danny Glover. Oh, yeah. The Lethal Weapon series, Predator 2 and Shooter are just three among the many that he's got. You know what my favorite his... one is? That he's I'm in... going to guess Gone Fishing. Oh, I do like that one, but I forgot about that one. Yeah, um, Angels in the Outfield. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. He, yeah. yeah, that's a good one, too. He is, he is a very important piece of that movie. Yeah. And uh, the director is James Wan, one of my favorite horror directors. Yeah. He did Dead Silence, Insidious, and Furious 7. <laughs> A random, uh, a random one to throw in there. Throw that in there. Huh? Yeah. Okay. And there's other ones that he's done that were pretty random too that I got yeah. thrown in there too. But it was written by Leigh Whannell, who was also one of the stars of this movie. Oh, I did Craziness. not know that. Okay. He wrote Saws one through three. Cool. Insidious one through four, wow. and Dead Silence um, among other stuff as well. Okay. Um, and also James Wan. Is a I think the I think it said the story was by him. Okay, but the actual writing was was by Leigh no, Whannell. The screenplay. Yeah, the story um, was by James Wan, and he also did Dead Silence for writing, Insidious Two, and The Conjuring Two. Okay, cool. Yeah, James Wan. He's got quite the resume. <clears throat> he does <laughs> for uh, movies, horror movies. Yeah, directing, writing, producing. He's got way yeah. more producing yeah. credits than he's got anything else. Yeah. Okay, well, this one is about two strangers who awaken in a room with no recollection of how they got there, and they soon discover they're, they are pawns in a deadly game perpetrated by a notorious serial killer. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Craziness. Um, this one came, back, uh, came out back in 2004. Mm-hmm. Um, so, I would say, because of the way this movie ends kind of something to talk about um this is going to be a spoiler filled yes. review um if you haven't seen it then i don't know what you've been doing with your life <laughs> especially if you're listening to a horror movie podcast if yeah. you haven't seen saw then just you unsubscribe 
I don't tell <laughs> people to do that. <laughs> Unsubscribe. <laughs> delete our, you know, unlike our page on Facebook. Just get out of here. If, We're going to lose, like, a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, if you haven't done it yet, then I don't know, I don't know who you are. <laughs> So yeah, this one's going to be, we're going to talk about some of the, you know, big twists and stuff like that. Yes. Um, so, what do you think of Jigsaw's mission? What so, do you think about his uh, his whole point of view, I guess? I, I understand it. I mean, he takes it to a definite extreme with his <laughs> with his mission. Yes, but his the mission whole, statement. The mission statement. Yeah, the whole concept of having a near death experience is like gives you a new purpose in life. Yeah, I would say, and um, that's that's pretty much what he's what he's going for. He's choosing these people that are not the greatest people in the world. Right. They've done some stuff in their past that that you know other people may think is not is not good <laughs> yes and um he puts them in these situations that they that they can survive from mm -hmm. and the whole concept is that if you survive you you your perception on life changes <clears throat> right and i like that concept right. for a for a for a killer like yeah. for for someone like he's Jigsaw, like a, it's, it's he's a, like a moral killer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's just trying to teach you a lesson. <laughs> exactly. Um, Life lessons. Yeah, exactly. And he doesn't actually kill people, you know? He, no? He puts them in situations that they can live. <laughs> <laughs> so you can't might really have to specify lose him as a killer. Or, yeah. 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 <laughs> he's just a, a kidnapper. Yeah, yeah. he's a kidnapper. Kidnapper. He's definitely... Broken and the law. <laughs> just kind of a mean guy, I guess. You know, putting him in, putting him tough in situations. Tough situations, <laughs> but you know, he's he's looking out for us. Yeah, you know, yeah. he's looking out for everybody. Yeah. So, you know, <laughs> uh, he uh, was diagnosed with cancer. Yeah, inoperable, terminal cancer. Mm -hmm. And so then he attempts to kill himself, drives his car off a cliff. Mm -hmm. And lives, and so this kind of is what triggers him to start this. His new purpose in life is to give meaning to other people's lives. Yeah, um, and you know, see see what other people's lives are worth to them. Mm -hmm. You know, so you should be a motivational um, speaker. Yes, he, <laughs> I was very when I came out of the theater seeing. The first saw. Mm -hmm. I made a five-year plan. <laughs> I was ready to take on the world. <laughs> exactly. That's the whole point of this movie. Yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> it's very motivational. Um, so, you know, that's what he's trying to do. And the traps that he puts these people in, the, the game, mm -hmm. is always kind of related to their life. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a little cleverness yeah. to the game that yeah, he uh, that he puts in there and I thought I think that's pretty cool. He really takes a lot of thought. Yes. <laughs> and time and effort <laughs> into uh putting these people in, in the game. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so that's pretty much the concept of the movie and the whole franchise itself. Yeah. Um it gets a little convoluted. <laughs> Toward the later half of the franchise, of the franchise but. <laughs> yeah, we'll we'll get into those at some, a little later time. But yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, what are your positives? I I really enjoyed the story of it. I liked the concept of the. I liked the idea of it. I liked the character Jigsaw. His his whole motivational <laughs> his motivations for everything he does and um, the characters. Mm -hmm. The acting is really good as well. Oh no! Some of it. No, is, I I liked some of the acting was was decent oh, in this movie. Man. Okay, I'll talk about that later. All right, we'll get into that. I mean, it, it definitely the acting gets worse throughout the series, but for this one movie, right. some of it was was good. <laughs> but yes. All right. So, <laughs> um, what did you think of the end? That was a crazy twist ending. Yeah. Um, I definitely was not expecting that. Yeah. And even if you haven't seen the movie by now, you probably have already know like what the right. twist ending is. Right. It's one of those, it's like, 
the sixth sense where even if you right. haven't seen it, you know exactly what happens. Turns out Jigsaw was in the room all along. <laughs> Craziness. Yeah. And he just <laughs> with them. S- stands there was a, up there was a dead body right in yeah. the middle of both of them. And he just stands up and says, Game over, closes <laughs> the door behind him. <laughs> and that's how it ends. Yeah. And I thought that was a really cool like twist to yeah. this movie. Yeah. He was in the room the entire time all this was happening. Right. So Yeah. Pretty crazy. Um yeah, so for me the twist and there's like a few twists because you think the orderly mm-hmm. you think he is yeah. jigsaw i guess mm-hmm. or the bad guy the bad guy I mean, yeah and but then you find out that he was also playing a game yeah. he was also he had his own game mm-hmm. it was like a game within a game yeah. <laughs> so i mean there was like yeah. there's a few games going on at the same time there are and every character so, has their own game yeah they do it's, <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah it's crazy and uh, are you going to win the game or are you going to lose the game? That's, you know? that's yeah, that's the question. <laughs> <laughs> that's the question. So, uh, it's only so those... two options. You can only win or lose. Win or lose. <laughs> Make your choice. Yes. I think that's what he says. <laughs> yeah. At one point it is. He probably says it a few times throughout yeah. the series. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, so the twist, amazing. Uh, probably my favorite. The final twist is my favorite of all time. Mm-hmm. For yeah. me. Um, that of any music, horror twist or, just or of any the... any movie period yeah it's I remember seeing it in theaters and for me it's kind of weird but <laughs> when I see a good twist you know you get like goosebumps mm-hmm. everybody kind of gets that I think but my eyes tear up <laughs> <laughs> like not like I'm gonna this cry movie made you cry <laughs> not like I'm gonna cry like but it's just mm-hmm. like um, I don't even know how to explain it. It's just like this emotion yeah. that comes across me, it comes over me, and it's like it catches you off oh, guard. You're not, yeah. you're not, you know, expecting something yeah. like that to actually happen. Yeah. So I just don't know how to describe that. It's kind of weird. <laughs> but um, this is one of those eye-watering movies mm-hmm. for sure. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, and then his whole his whole idea behind what he's doing, Jigsaw. I like that. Kind of makes you think, you yeah. know, what yeah. are you really doing with your life? You know, that's the yeah. And if you don't shape up, he's gonna get He'll you. He'll get you. <laughs> He'll come after you. <laughs> I, <laughs> I like Billy the puppet. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where he got that name because I don't, I don't think they say his name and yeah, I don't think in, they do like either. any of the movies. I don't yeah. know, maybe they do. But if you look him up, because I wanted to get one. <laughs> nice. <laughs> if you look it up, that's what his name is. His name is Billy. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Okay. I don't, yeah, know, I don't know where that. It probably happened at some point throughout the the franchise. You know what? Someone. It's probably in the book. In Could the, be the book, the of, book Saw. of Saw. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he probably has his own chapter. The music. Yeah. At the end, mm-hmm. when that music hits, and that's for like every movie in the series. Yeah. But it's that, a very yeah, it's iconic. like. Oh man, okay, music something's gonna happen, you know. <laughs> oh man, what's the twist in this one, you know? Yeah. And that so that music like is so effective mm-hmm. for especially for that movie. It's just I don't know some about it and you the theme, you just know it. Music you know? of the of that series. Yeah. Like even if you, you watch a trailer for one of these movies, you don't know what the movie title is called. You yeah. hear that music, you know instantly you know. it's gonna be a song. It's movie. a song movie. Yep. <laughs> yeah. And that is the sign of a good horror franchise. Mm-hmm. They all have that theme. Yeah. That you just know. You know, Halloween has it. Mm-hmm. Um, Nightmare on Elm Street has it. Friday the 13th has it. Yeah. I mean, those are the big three. Yeah. And then, I mean, The Exorcist had its own little little yeah, theme, it too. Does. It, has a, it has its theme music going yeah. on, too. Um, and Saw. I mean, I'm mm. sure there's other ones, but... You know, you can pick up on that. And then the iconic character mm-hmm. of Jigsaw, Jigsaw yeah, is another thing that classic horror series franchises have. Yeah. That iconic character with the iconic look, mm-hmm. that voice. Yeah. It's just awesome. Everything, yeah. <laughs> it's just so <laughs> awesome. I wonder if um, when they first made this, if they were expecting or, you know, um, preparing for it, like a sequel at least. 
You know, I don't know. This I, is a very I low budget like movie. It, it was. I feel like the first, at least the first couple, were probably planned because they did come out. Didn't they come out like every year? Or was it uh, after? The second like, one came out a couple years. A couple later. years later. Yeah. yeah. They probably thought they they probably didn't know what was going to happen with this movie. Yeah. Well, and I remember seeing the previews <clears throat> for it for the first one, and thinking, "Oh man, this is going to be really gruesome, mm-hmm. and I don't know if I want to watch it." Yeah. It really wasn't that bad mm. compared to compared to other ones in the, the franchise. Other ones, yeah. yeah, other ones go way way further. Yeah, they did. Um, this one really wasn't that bad, um, but I think it got that kind of reputation mm-hmm. when it first came out. Like, okay, this one's gonna be just gore fest. Yeah, you know. And so the fact that it did well mm-hmm. enough to even have a sequel. Yeah, that says something, you know, especially because it's, it's very low budget looking, mm-hmm. um, which is another positive. Actually, I like the way it looks. Yeah, I like the camera work, like the like flashing camera work and how it like kind of zooms in really fast and mm-hmm. moves really quick. And, yeah, you know, that is also a signature to the Saw franchise, mm-hmm. that camera work. And it's very gritty. It, yeah, it is. <laughs> it is very gritty looking. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so negatives. Do you have any? <laughs> I already talked about one of mine. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and I mean, you know, what that was more of like a neutral, I guess, for me because okay. it didn't have I, I don't some of the characters, some of the actors in that, like Danny Glover didn't do a bad no. job acting. Like this no, is no, no, no. it was just the, the doctor, really. You didn't like the doctor? <laughs> like there were some parts where he just <laughs> You'll have to watch it again. I, I <laughs> recently watched it. <laughs> I don't know. I just I remember. I can't there, remember the lines. I mean, there were bits but... and pieces of the movie that had like not great acting in it, <laughs> but I think the orderly was probably the one that had like the worst some, acting. Some of the worst acting really? in the movie. Yeah. Okay. I just remember the doctor and he, <laughs> some of the stuff that he did was just mm. like funny and something. Um, this is just kind of a funny part, but they're having to like toss things back and forth. Yeah. In the, yeah. In the room and like the bathroom thing mm-hmm. that they're in. And whenever they toss something to the other person, it's like way off. Yeah. It like, is. I they're know. throwing I it and it's like behind yeah. them to the left, to the right. Like, like you guys this. are like six feet away from each other. Come on. <laughs> and they didn't throw anything to each other like on target. Yeah. <laughs> it was just I know. so funny. Like, hey, can you throw me that key? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> it's in the bathtub. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, it was good. Yeah, that that was that was a little crazy, a little ridiculous. <laughs> it was just funny. Um, okay, but yeah, I mean, acting is neutral to okay. me. Like some of it was good, some of it was bad. Yeah, like, you know. Yeah, I guess I shouldn't be so hard on it. <laughs> I just I do remember but, every time I see it, thinking, okay, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, you didn't do a very good job there. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not throughout the whole movie. It's yeah, just little little bits parts. and pieces. Yeah. Um, okay, so what are you going to grade this one with? Oh, we're done already. Okay. <laughs> I am going to give this one, because it was original, it's, a, it's an original idea. Yeah, don't steal my grade. <laughs> I might. I don't know. <laughs> um, it's an original idea. It had a really awesome twist ending at the end that I didn't even think to look for. Yeah. I would probably... I don't know, this particular one, I, I might give an A-. minus. Okay, alright. Well, I give it an A. Okay, alright. <laughs> and I didn't even change my grade. That was my grade. That was your grade all the yeah. entire time? Yeah. <laughs> one of my favorites, for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, probably top ten, for me. Horror in general? A horror. Mm-hmm. Horror, all the time. It's going to be hard to beat at all. Yeah. Yeah, Definitely. And so, hoping this new one that comes out, I'm hoping that it does, you know, it does this first one justice. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm, I like the detective work. Yeah. Too, in the Saw franchise, there's mm-hmm. certain movies in the franchise have like, it's kind of like half and half. Yeah. Where it's like the detective work and then also like Jigsaw, the jigsaw. what he's doing, mm-hmm. and I like that. And the first one definitely had that. Mm-hmm. Um, so it looks like the new one is going to have that, yeah. too. So I'm hoping that that is, is true, what has, I think is right. Yeah, it has kind of a seven bone collector type of vibe yes. for yes. it to it. And I like that. <laughs> yeah, me too. So, All right. Well, this has been 
Scare Talk, and this is our game. Yes, it is. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. <laughs>